1975 Datsun 280Z from Bring a Trailer. Do a quick walk around and a little bit of the background on this car. I purchased it from the original owner of May 2018. In October of 2017, the original owner contacted me asking if I could get this thing running for him because it's sat in dry storage here in Texas for the last 12 years. Between that time in October and about April of this year, the, the original owner had gotten pretty sick and was unable to um, drive this car and wasn't, wasn't going to be able to enjoy it, so he offered to sell it to me. So when I purchased it, went through the fuel system, put a new fuel pump, fuel lines, clean out, flushed out all the hard lines, got that going, pulled all the injectors out, had them bench tested and cleaned, did a basic tune-up, plugs, cap, rotor, things of that nature, checked the valve clearances, got that settled, oil change, battery, just a couple little things here and there, just to get it going and, and driving. It's definitely a running project. Something someone could drive and install, restore at the same time. Original paint car. It's got a couple touch-ups from chips and scratches. Not sure if this will come out or not, but there's a touch-up here and here from chips. There's this touch-up right here from scratch. There's a slight crease right here that may not be able to come up on the video. And right here on the door, there's a couple chips here. So I actually had these uh, painted and blended in. And then the small various little chips on the hood. Rock chips just from driving. This car was used for numerous road rallies across the country. And the original owner was driving it back in Arizona. Overall, the paint shows exceptionally well for being original. It cleaned up very nicely. No major scratches or dents other than what was pointed out. Just kind of go down here. So the bottom of the fenders are real clean. No rust, corrosion, or any paint breaks. Same for the rockers and the dog legs. Dog legs are clean. I'll post more pictures in the ad for close-ups. Wheel arches are all clean. Bottoms of the corners are good. A couple scratches in the stripes. The passenger side is in very good condition. As is the inside of the door and the door panels. Inside door is clean. No rot. No rot in the door seals or anywhere up beneath the fender. It's all clean. Roof is clean. No stress cracks, no hail damage, no discoloration. Louvers are in good shape. No bands or damage to those. The bumpers are both in good shape, front and rear, minus the rubber, which is sort of the dry rot in some areas. Headlights are good, chrome is good on both sides. Under the hatch is clean. No rust, never been painted. It's got the original fasteners for the taillight trim. Has it never been pulled out. A little dirty from the emissions. Underneath it's clean too. Just a little slight discoloration from the exhaust. Car has the original tool jack and wheel chocks and tool bag. All this here is the road rally equipment the original owner used to use on his road rallies across the country. All that's included with the car. Over here the antenna extended all the way out but intermittently retracts so I left it out just to 
not stress it out. Again, the roof is good on this side. Back down below. Bottom of the quarters is good. Still retains the factory exhaust. Dog legs on the driver's side are good. Rockers are good. Bottom of the fenders are good. No discoloration there. Lower balance is good. It's clean. Just some discoloration from the paint. But otherwise, it's dent free, rust free, very straight. Up here, the nose is real clean. No dents. Nobody said anything on the radiator and closed the hood and pushed the dent through. Again, the bumpers are clean, but the rubber showing its age. Inside, new carpet kit, <clears throat> factory style carpet, OEM seat covers, and new seat foams. One modification, apart from the steering wheel and the wheels, the, the previous owner had done was install a, a different style seat cover, so I changed them out. It does have a wrap on the steering wheel, but I believe the wheel underneath is good. Dash cap, being an Arizona Texas car, I dashed it last too long. Center console is clean. Our rest is good. Everything but the map light and the clock works up here. And the headliner is sagging in the middle slightly. Dome light works. Carpets in the back were replaced as well. All the vinyl on the inside is in excellent condition. Door panel on this side is good as well. No warpage, no speakers. Doors are all clean here too. All four wheels are in good shape. The tires are brand new from 20... 2004 I believe so they're obviously dry rotted and have flat spots so I would recommend changing those out but they do all hold air all lights work horn works turn signals work blower motor works AC kicks on, but it doesn't get as cold as I'd like, so I wouldn't consider it functional. But it doesn't leak, and the compressor kicks on and off. I'll list everything that's been done to the car in case I forgot for this video. car comes with with all the road rally equipment as I mentioned before and also comes with the original books grab the rest the guarantee service booklet business card that the dealer should be purchased it from Information when you purchase the car, Dotson Guarantee Card, so I have a 1975 manual, seen better days, but it also come with 
two booklets here, which is pretty amazing. So the previous owner, every fuel stop, oil change, tire rotation, maintenance, anything that was ever done in this car, he documented it very well. You can see here, from started from day one, which was March 1975. The first fuel up, and it goes on and on until he parked the car. So this whole booklet is full of all the oil changes and fill ups in this one. We have all the repairs dealing with the car and basic maintenance. Everything from the speedometer reading of 75 till now. Which your car reads 151,000 miles. I'll try to scan some of these pages in so you can read the details better. I'm going to fill in the tires, trips he went on, road rally trips, and the other booklet is the same story full of information about all the maintenance done to the car and fill ups. Pretty remarkable. Everything that's been done in this car since March of 1975 has been documented in these two books. And everything that I've done to the car I'll also document this book for the next owner. So pretty comprehensive history in this car. Like I said, it's a running and driving project. It can be restored and enjoyed. Very clean, 280Z.